What's up everyone, your friendly neighborhood Wanzi guy here, wishing you a happy midweek, um, halfway through the week of cards, and uh, we've actually got some really interesting ones to look at today. Uh, a possible OTK minion for Hunter, yet again Naga coming up strong and showing us that they can do some crazy things. And we also have a new Colossal minion, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into that. So first up for today, we have Radar Detector, a two mana spell for Paladin. Scan the bottom five cards of your deck, draw any mechs found this way, then shuffle your deck. Uh, so, so far we've only seen one mech specifically given to Paladin. It does have the dredge effect, um, so they could be trying to synergize something that way. However, Paladin generally doesn't run a lot of mechs besides um, these days like a Noyatron. Um, is, is running some of the decks there, uh, you know, buff Paladin decks. Uh, otherwise, I'm not sure where else this would fit in. Um, we do have another mech coming up, and if you want to specifically draw that card, this would be a great, great cheap way to cycle that into your hand. However, you're not assured that that card is going to be at the bottom of your deck. If there are going to be some other cards that will put that at the bottom of your deck, maybe, uh, we're still yet to see. Um, but yeah, so add, looking at the base of this, um, you know, drawing any mechs, if your deck is mech based, it could be very powerful. Uh, but just uh, at first glance, pretty decent card draw, um, but you'd have to be running a uh, you know, significant amount of mechs or have had mechs placed there through other means. Uh, maybe there'll be some other cards that will place mechs at the bottom of your deck later on because we still have quite a few reveals to get through uh, before the full set has been revealed. Next up, we have a legendary minion for Rogue. So Pirate Admiral Hook Tusk and 8 mana 8-8 eight, eight, battle cry. If you've summoned eight other pirates this game, plunder the enemy. Um, and these are your three plunder options you have. Uh, take their gold. Uh, so you take two cards from your opponent's hand. Uh, take their supplies. Take five cards from your opponent's deck. Or take their ship. Take control of your opponent's highest attack minion. So all three of these options can be pretty powerful. Um, at the eight mana cost for Rogue, looking at things now, Rogue likes to get things out cheap and fast. Um, so currently I don't see where this would fit in. However, I have said before in other videos with some other pirates that they've introduced, obviously they may be looking to get a pirate build going within Rogue. Um, Rogue has also been able to reduce costs. I mean, if you, you're blue running Scab's hero card, and you've already played that, you can reduce this card to a six cost. Um, you would obviously have had to play another eight pirates before playing this. Uh, so again, board based game, this might be pretty good. Um, but the way Rogue tends to work things now, you'll see with, it, it, they try to do things a lot quicker, um, a lot more low cost cards and trying to get things out cheaply so that they can end the game quicker. So do I think this would fit Rogue's current sense or the Rogue player's current sense? No, uh, but they are building around this whole thing of having a Pirate Rogue. Um, there's definitely, we've got one or two cards now that are supporting that. We may get some more. Um, and I can definitely see this card getting some play in some niche decks. Uh, I hope someone does find a way to play this. Um, because it can pretty much be a, an almost game ender. Again, with Kazakhstan currently being so uh, powerful and so prominent, um, something like take take their supplies, taking five cards from your opponent's decks, basically stealing five treasures from Kazakhstan can be a pretty good thing. Same with taking two cards from the hand. Maybe you steal their Kazakhstan, you can steal their... Um, quest treasure you know depending on where they get the treasure and when you get this out so there are definitely some uses for this um so i do hope it does see a lot of play i do hope people try and find a way to to get this into decks and if there are enough pirate support i personally will definitely try and get this into a deck thirdly we have lady sathino let me pronounce that correctly. A three mana two four Naga for Demon Hunter. It's immune while attacking, and after you cast a spell, attack the lowest health enemy. So obviously, every time you cast a spell, this thing is going to attack, and it has immune. So it's it's pretty good in that sense already. Um, 
what some people are worried about and others are happy about is this is possibly an OTK tool for Demon Hunter. Um, buffing minions in Demon Hunter hasn't been a big thing, um, but if the you get your opponent to low enough health, which Demon Hunter can pretty easily do with uh, direct spells, you know, with fell spells, with chase, you can get your opponent to a reasonable amount of health or a low enough uh, health point, and you can start using this just to go face continuously. Um, obviously, you can use other spells to clear the board while you're at it, uh, and then this thing, if, you know, the lowest health enemy, if the only enemy is your opponent that have no minions out this thing will continuously just attack your opponent's face um so a lot of people are already saying is this an otk tool for demon hunter we've already seen other versions of demon hunter um, otk demon hunters you know with the lifesteal so it's not unheard of um personally i would not be able to piece together an otk deck with this uh, i'm just nowhere near skilled enough to do that but if someone does um i'd love to see it I'm not a fan of OTK decks for the most part, just because it feels like once you're in that situation, there's nothing you can do. And on the opposing side, it just it, it doesn't have make the game feel very fun. So personally, I don't like OTK decks, but if someone can make this work, it would be interesting to see and a really cool way to uh, mix up the meta from what it is now and you know get some new counters going on there. And lastly, we have the new Colossal Minion, the Leviathan, a 7-mana 4-5 mech for Paladin. Uh, it has Rush, Divine Shield, and Artist Attacks, Dredge. So obviously, you look at the bottom three cards of your deck, put one at the top. Uh, it does then also summon the Leviathan's Claw. Uh, it's a 3-mana 4-2 with Rush and Divine Shield. Artist Attacks, draw a card. So basically, these combo together, as you can see, you attack with the Leviathan first, Dredge, put one of those cards in the top of your deck, use Leviathan's Claw to draw that card. So this is will obviously be tailored to a specific kind of build where you know a specific card is in the bottom three of your deck, um, or multiple copies of that card is in the bottom three of your deck. And you can continue to do this turn after turn after turn, um, obviously provided that the minions both stay alive but this could also be a tool to end games you could have put something specific in your deck that you need to finish the game it could be direct face damage it could be a minion buff um, it could be a whole bunch of things and by playing this you can almost you'll pretty much guarantee that the card that you put in the bottom three is now going to be in your hand and if you have the mana if you obviously plan it right and get the mana on that turn, you'll be able to finish off your opponent pretty easily. So I think uh, as far as the Leviathan if, uh, goes and the effects of other Colossals, uh, Colossal Minions, this is pretty synergetic, um, has a, a very tight game plan as to what you want to do. So yeah, uh, the, the main Leviathan gets you the card to put it top of your deck and the Leviathan's Claw then goes ahead and draws you that card. Also apologize for the slightly lower quality image on the Leviathan's Claw. Uh, this card was released about 10 minutes ago. They hadn't put up an image yet of the claw itself. So I kind of had to use a little bit of uh, my own photo editing, image editing skills and crop that around just to make it a little bit more look a little bit more decent there. But yeah, it's the cards that we have for today. Um, a nice, concise, shorter video. Um, I'm very excited to see what other mechs uh, will come out in, in conjunction with this. And also very excited to see how people who are already saying this is an, an OTK possibility, how it gets worked around into an OTK version uh, using Lady Sethetho. So yeah, thank you guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy the content, please do so. It helps me, helps the channel grow uh, so that possibly I can be doing this full time. So uh, as always, I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you're watching this from, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.